Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download premium website templates and admin dashboards directly into your PC without paying a single dime. Yes, I believe if you're a designer or a developer, you understand the value of working with templates. They really save a lot of time. However, the good ones actually come at a price. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get those premium uh, templates from Inverto Elements, uh, Theme Wagon, or even Bootstrap made. All those sites, you'll be able to get all these templates free of charge. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in. All right. Yes. Uh, so for this video, we're going to be using Inverto Elements. This is a one-stop shop for all your uh, admin templates. Uh, so um, um, today for this case, we're going to be searching for an, H uh, an HTML admin template. I'm able to search this here. And uh, yeah, so we are from a bunch of results. We have a number of these. So make sure that you, the one that you're going to use, it, to, it should have a live preview. There are those that are restricted and definitely you don't have a live preview for them. So meaning it will be a bit hard however um, yes we're going to look at one of these uh, let me scroll uh, yes so for our case I think let's use this particular one here um, yeah so what I have to do is uh, select on the live preview um, in the new window I think it will just get us to the landing page which will be showing us uh, some of uh, maybe the different versions of of, uh, of the templates uh, for this case uh, let's use uh, the vertical menu that is semi dark admin yeah let me go to live uh, live demo yes as you can see this is how it's going to be like and uh, definitely this is what we're going to be downloading we're going to download all the code into our PC such that we're able to customize it further and make it our own uh, maybe for our next project yeah so uh, all you have to do is uh, in a new window let's go to Google and from here simply search for HTTP track HTTP track yes that's all you have to do and uh, from this from the results menu uh, by default you find that is HTTP track dot com yeah select on that um, select on that particular link uh, to bring us to this particular page so i'm using windows uh, so definitely i'll select um a download the download section it will take me to the download section and it will bring us options for downloading the different versions now um so um, i'm using uh, a windows machine which is a 64 uh, bit uh, so for that case i'll select this particular version yeah, so once that is selected, um, uh, by default, uh, you'll be able to uh, download this uh, automatically. The program will be downloaded into your PC. As you can see up here, it's downloading. Yeah, so uh, once, once, uh, once the file has been downloaded successfully, you need to open it. Uh, let's open this. Um, yes, I'll select next. Uh, so what you have to do still is uh, simply accept the agreement here. If you want to read through it, uh, they have definite terms and conditions and license and agreement. You can go through that. But uh, for case, let's simply select uh, accept that. Um, yeah. So if you have specific a specific file, we always put these programs. Maybe you can browse. But for my case, I'm going to put in C. That is program files. Click next. You simply click next. It unchecked. Uh, select continue yeah so it will create an, an icon on your desktop um, yeah so select next you can leave the rest as is so once we're done with all that simply install here so within no time uh, the program will be installed and it will start running so uh, yeah finish uh, once you finish uh, immediately it will open um, it will open up and uh, yes simply select ok and uh, yes so uh, simply, uh, when you come here select next and you need to put in the name of uh, the project so for our case uh, let's say it's going to be admin uh, admin dashboard yeah I'll just give it a name um, you can leave this uh, as is you can leave it blank or you if you want to create a category for your project or something like that you can go forward to do that yeah so you need to select the file where actually these uh, all the downloaded files are actually going to go yeah so what I'm going to do is actually go forward uh, to create uh, a file here on my desktop let's say admin templates 
yeah so make sure you uh you have a folder we, where all the files are going to go to um yes we go back to uh to uh to the program here you select the folder way exactly so i'll go on the dashboard and we'll have to select the fo folder that we created admin templates you select that once you're done with that click next yeah so um from this window we are going to put in the url the web url from which we're going to be downloading now for our case when we go back to uh, uh sorry when you go back to our template this is the one so all you have to do is simply copy uh, this url come and paste it in here yeah so once you're done simply select next uh yeah so you can leave the rest unchecked unless if you want to uh, uh to and check any of those but simply select uh, have them unchecked and select uh finish so immediately uh the software will go forward to download every single file in that particular template and all that will be downloaded into the folder that you had created as you can see okay yeah so once um once the download is successful you have uh, this little message that okay yeah your uh, mirroring operation has been complete yeah so if you go to uh to the folder that we had actually created um sorry uh, that is admin templates this is the one uh so as you can see uh the program will be able to download all the files that are needed as you can see and uh, yes if you go to the index uh, automatically to be able to open for us uh, let's see yes it will be able to open for us what has been downloaded as you can see up in the url actually all these files are already into my pc so uh if you're going to the core probably want to go start customizing all this simply go to maybe admins dashboard there uh you look into into the hts uh, catch file um oh sorry uh, i think that is ha that has to be in uh, up here that is in cov uh, yes you select the name of the uh of the template that we used um yeah as you can see here we have uh, our demo uh, and actually the version that we had actually selected for was uh the vertical menu so select it and as you can see we have all the files here yeah so all every single file that we wanted is actually here so if you go to it uh, maybe the index definitely we're able to see uh the different versions of uh of the template um yeah so let me open uh let me open the files into vs code probably uh if you're watching this i know you might be a developer or a designer definitely so you may want to customize uh the uh the theme yourself so let's open vs code um okay i already have some project that i was working on here i think i'll have to leave this and open the folder um a new folder okay let me go to uh, admin templates yes um we go to this it's going to be demo i select yeah as you can see all the files that we need all the html css the javascript is already downloaded for example now this is um the for example if you're looking at the uh the index that's the home page so this is all the code so definitely if you know what you're doing you can always come here customize and uh, the template to your will so that you have your project ongoing so that's it for now if you uh if you if you got in value from this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh yes you can give my video a thumbs up and if you have something to say leave it in the comment section i think that's